Looks like today I got another package from AutoZone. I'm gonna take it in and open it up. Before we put the KN filter in the vehicle, we're gonna uh, have a couple of run with the vehicle without the filter in there. Want to see what's the difference? Uh, this is mostly butt dyno, but uh, I don't think that matters. The whole purpose of a KN filter is just to have it for life. I have the KN filter in my uh, Jeep, and it's got 50k in there. Nothing wrong with it yet. Uh, filter is pretty clean I know uh, the filter has a lot of more air coming in so it doesn't filter as good as the OEM but then again the car's got 50k in there and so far there's nothing wrong with it and I'm gonna put a filter in this Mazda too so uh, this is mostly because I'd rather buy one filter than keep on buying one every 50 or so K and uh, the uh, performance is just a bonus and I think a little extra particle going there won't hurt this engine, so I have faith in my engine. And once again, we are in a turbo vehicle. This is a Mazda Speed 3. And uh, fairly stock, there's nothing mod on this thing. And we're gonna take it for a spin. It's a, uh, there's any changes once I put the KN filter in there. See, once again, you don't hear anything on this vehicle, no diverter valve or nothing even when I launch it that hard. So it just goes to show you the before and then we will see the uh, after. Alrighty, so while installing the uh, k &M filter on the uh, Mazda Speed here, we are going to loosen up the negative cable to reset the uh, idling. Off. This thing is fairly straightforward and easy to do. Just the two uh, clamp here, just tabs down there. So, what you do is just lift it out like that, and it's out already. So, now I just have to push this corridor and pull this filter out. It's a little stiff because it's cold. And that's the filter right here. Uh, it's a little dirty, but not that bad. Uh, if you're gonna put a uh, drop-in filter in your vehicle, do not throw this old one away, okay? We're gonna uh, need it later on. When this one gets dirty and we take it out to clean it, we're gonna put this one back on to run the vehicle while this one is drying out. So this is a new one. Uh, my recommendation when you put a new one in is always make sure that it is the same size before you even go at it. You don't want to put the wrong one in there or start opening it up and it's not and look at the oil there's a lot of oil on this thing and there are you know concern about the oil on this thing getting into the mass airflow but that's usually when you clean it only from the manufacturer or from k in itself this is pretty safe 
Make all these oil. Should be fine though. I should probably clean it up though. Clean up the oil. Canyon sticker. I like to put it here so I remember that it's got a Canyon in there already. Yeah, this will do. Put this away so that when I clean my Canyon filter, I will have the OE filter to uh, put in there temporary. Connect the battery back up. Start it up. So now I just have to let this thing sit like this for like 15 to 20 minutes or so until it adjusts to this new filter and then I'm gonna go in there turn on the AC and then just take it for a ride or so. Uh, this is so that the car can readjust itself to this new filter and Mazda has this particular way that they do it. Uh, not all vehicle is the same so if you have a different vehicle who knows maybe you just plug the battery back up and you're good to go. But this is how a Mazda is done so I'm just gonna let it run like this for a while. Well, while I wait for this one to idle, I might as well start this one. It has been a while since I started my Z, so... Got the key. Got the key. Alright. So today we're back in the uh, Mazda Speed 3 again. It has been a week since I put the k and filter in this thing and uh, so far it has been running pretty normal. Uh, there is a little of extra uh, push when I launch but that could very well be placebo only. So um, 
10 and filter in this thing, nothing has changed. I thought I would have a little bit of extra noise coming out of my di diverter valve like the juke, but it looks like Mazda did a really good job at insulating the noise coming from the turbo system in this thing. So there's nothing much change. Uh, so yeah, in my juke, I could certainly hear the diverter valve going off when the temperature gets this cold. Uh, today we're talking about 31 degree Fahrenheit but looks like this thing is so well insulated that I don't feel or hear anything uh, it's not exactly a bad thing because when I put the K&N filter in this thing it was the recyclable factor that draws me to it it wasn't the performance the performance was just bonus so I'm just here to report that and we'll see if there's anything that goes on with this vehicle other than that looks like it's pretty normal run as it should and uh, so far so good I've got 150k in my Mazda Speed 3 and hopefully I could get another 100 out of this thing before I lay it to rest but so far so good and I'm out